If you're a part of the Facebook group, Top Shelf Championship Belts, you'd see the belt maker Afnan Sheik was holding a Memorial Day sale on all belts. Single layer belts were only 250 bucks. I reached out to Bill, who is Afnan's middleman and who handles some of the payments. Sent him some money over Cash App on May 21st. In their ad during Memorial Day, it said the belts would take five to six weeks to make brand new. I'm cool with it because that's about the average wait time for most belt makers in Pakistan. And today I got that belt in the mail. So this is the WWF Big Eagle Championship belt made by Afghan Sheik. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Steven Hammer. And if you are new to this channel and you like wrestling belts, consider subscribing to this channel. I try to upload new belt videos every week or at least every other week when I got something to talk about. And in this video, we are talking about the WWF Big Eagle that I got from Afnan Sheik of Top Shelf Championship Belts on Facebook. How I ordered this belt, how much it cost, uh, the experience dealing with Afnan's middleman Bill, how long it took, and uh, just the overall quality of this belt. I'm a big fan of it. I like it a lot. So let's get started and show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys. Big, big fan of this belt really really nice i really enjoyed a lot so here's the wwf big eagle made by afghan sheik of top shelf belts top shelf championship belts on uh, facebook i have reviewed one of his belts before in the past it was a uh, a john cena spinner belt united states spinner and uh his work is good and then i seen where he was having a memorial day sale back in may for a belt for 250 bucks and I took the risk because I've never ordered with him before. And uh, it actually turned out really, really well. I'm really impressed with this belt for it to be a Pakistan belt. 250 bucks. The leather is hand tooled. Got the WWF stamp on it. Really nice, really floppy. I like this a lot. It feels good, it looks good. I don't know what more you could ask for. The back of the belt is covered up in just plain black backing. Okay. Again, the belt, the Big Eagle never had the belt tip, so quit putting belt tips on Big Eagle belts. For all you belt makers out there that are watching this video, quit putting belt tips on the end of this belt. Luckily, this maker, Afghan Sheep, was smart enough, and he knows not to put a belt tip on this belt. So no belt tips at all. The Big Eagle never ever had a belt tip. So I'm such a fan of this belt. I like the light color blue used in the water. The same way that Jamar, the original belt maker, used for this belt. It wasn't like a dark blue. It was a light blue. He used light blue on a lot of his belts. Which to me it looks great. You have really nice texture in the side plates, which I think they take a nail and a hammer and just dot the side plates to make all that texture so all that is hand done WWF 2K plate no tooling whatsoever in the snap box which is the way it was you have a 2x6 female snap box on this side and a 2x10 snap box on the male side on the end of the belt, you do get Afghan signature, Afghan seat, top shelf belts, stamped on the end of the belt as well. Really, really nice belt. Big fan of it. Probably the best Big Eagle that I've ever had. Over the shoulder, really nicely. Looks good. Like I said, the, the leather just feels really good. And it does support the belt as well, which I will show you guys here in a little bit. Folds up nicely in your hands really easily i've always loved this version of the big eagle with the white logo i love it reminds me so much of wrestlemania 17 the rock and austin i loved that time in the wwf this big eagle absolutely love it so let's talk about the the price the wait time and all that stuff because i was a first time customer dealing with afnan 
and dealing with Bill, his middleman. And I'm always a little hesitant to order from new people, but I did go ahead and order with them on their Facebook group. And here's all the details of how I got this belt. So I placed my order on May 21st and paid Bill through Cash App. I was told it would take five to six weeks to make. On June 2nd, I received an update on my order from Afghan's middleman Bill, who sent me two photos of the polished plates. On July 2nd, a month later, I sent a message to Bill asking, hey, it's been six weeks since my order. How is everything going? Bill replied with photos of my plates plated in gold, and they were painted as well. And all it needs now is the leather, the snaps, and the backing. On July 16th, Bill sent me photos of my plates and the leather tooled. All it needed then was the snaps and the backing added. On July 18th, two days later, Bill sent me a message asking for my shipping information as the belt was about to be shipped from Pakistan to the United States. A couple of days later, Bill sent me tracking information with UPS on July 22nd, and the belt was delivered here on July 27th. I used to have one of these belts a couple of years ago that I had from Fight Night Belts, Sammy Malik. I eventually sold that belt to buy my wife's wedding ring and pay towards that because, you know, belts can come and go but I wanted to get her a good ring. So I sold some belts, bought her a ring, and when I saw the sale on the Facebook group, for 250 bucks for a four millimeter, four millimeter zinc belt, single layer, to be this nice of quality, uh, I would definitely order from them again. The leather is on point. I love the WWF tooling stamping going down the side. I love the work that he put into this belt. All the hand tooled leather, leather floppy enough, Plates look good, the paint looks good. One thing that I love about this belt is that it actually has the uh, nice artwork on the globe compared to the WWE shop version, which I'll put a picture of right here. As you can see, that area kind of just comes to a point and goes in the way it does. On this one, you can tell it's actually rounded off and doesn't come to a point. It looks a lot better like this compared to the replicas sold on WWE shop or the artwork is just wrong. So I'm hoping they go back and fix some of those mistakes, especially on the other Big Eagle and the blue Big Eagle, which is uh, down there. I hope they fix that one as well because that blue Big Eagle is messed up too. So originally I was told the belt would take about five to six weeks to make. It actually ended up being about 10 weeks from May to then the end of July, but not too bad at all. I definitely give them an A plus for customer service with the Big Eagle belt. Because anytime I had a question, Bill was always there and answered me back really quick. And he was asking me if I wanted a certain color backing and stuff on the belt, which I just wanted it to be regular black, so. All right, it's time for the snap test to make sure all this snaps up. All right, I laid down an old piece of leather down on the table just to make sure I don't scratch anything up. All right, so let's do the snap test. And just make sure everything snaps up. Spin it around this way, and uh, let's connect them, see how it goes. Oh, there we go, yep. Everything snaps up pretty easily. Yep, there we go. And the belt does stand up on its own and it does support itself which is really nice because I love when the leather can support the plates on the belt because sometimes they don't, but this one does. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you are new here, again, consider subscribing. If you're a familiar face here and you've been around for a while, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the ham fam. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Peace.